the fourth our Uyghur brothers and sisters in China are suffering horrific levels of our Uyghur brothers and sisters in China are suffering horrific levels of religious persecution. They are forced to drink alcohol. They're forced to eat pork. Muslim women have to marry non-Muslim Chinese men. Or they are prevented from praying their salah. And they are forced to renounce Islam and swear allegiance to the Chinese Communist Party. What is Five Pillars doing about this? We have delivered more than 25 lectures at universities and masajid across the UK, raising awareness about this persecution. We have posted these lectures online and they've been shared and translated in more than 10 languages. We have published more than 100 articles and videos on the plight of the Uyghur Muslims on our website and continue to bring this gross injustice to the attention of the world. But the real question is, what have you done about this? What have you done for our brothers and sisters? or being oppressed in Palestine, in Kashmir, in Myanmar, in Syria, in Yemen and elsewhere. Is sharing an image or a video of their hardship the only thing you're capable of? Or can you be doing a lot more? I'm sure you would agree that as an Ummah, we have to be smart and strategic in using the best and most effective tools that Allah has given us. Therefore, supporting qualified and experienced Muslim journalists in raising awareness about the struggle of the Ummah and speaking words of truth to tyrants and oppressors in the media is an effective way which you can help. Please click the button and help Five Pillars defend the voiceless and the oppressed in our Ummah. Donate just £100 or more if you're able to towards our campaign. Jazakumullah khairan. May Allah bless you in this life and the next. Oh, and don't forget to share this video because sharing is ultimately raising awareness as well.